Welcome back, we're reading the Quran, and uh, we're on Surah 42, and we're in a new section, and it says Shura, or the consultation. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Okay, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Okay, the first sign one says Ha Mim Ain Sin Kaf. Thus doth he send inspiration to thee as he did to those before thee. Allah exalted in power, full of wisdom. To him belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth, and he is most high, most great. The heavens are almost rent asunder from above them by his glory, and the angels celebrate the praises of their Lord and pray for forgiveness for all beings on earth. Behold, verily, Allah is he, the all-forgiving, most merciful. And those who take as protectors others besides him Allah doth watch over them, and thou art not the disposer of their affairs. Oh my goodness, that's a hard one to remember. Wow, thou art not the disposer of their affairs, right? Oh, sometimes you can think about if we were, we would make a lot of errors. Thus have we sent by inspiration to thee an Arabic Quran, that thou mayest warn the mother of cities mother of cities and all around her and warn them of the day of assembly the day of assembly of which there is no doubt when some will be in the garden and some in the blazing fire if Allah had so willed he could have made them a single people but he admits whom he will to his mercy and the wrongdoers will have no protector nor helper what have they taken for worship protectors besides him but it is Allah, he is the protector, and he is he who gives life to the dead. It is he who has power over all things. Whatever it be wherein ye differ, the decision thereof is with Allah. Such is Allah my Lord. In him I trust, and to him I turn. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He has made for you pairs from among yourselves, and pairs from among cattle. By this means does he multiply you. There is nothing whatever like unto him, and he is the one that hears and sees all things. To him belong the keys of the heavens and the earth. He enlarges and restricts the sustenance to whom he will, for he knows full well all things. The same religion has he established for you as that which he enjoyed on Noah, the which we have sent by inspiration to thee, and that which we enjoined on Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. Namely, that ye should remain steadfast in religion and make no divisions therein. To those who worship other things than Allah, hard is the way to which thou callest them. Allah chooses to himself those whom he pleases and guides to himself those who turn to him. Exactly. Every person has like their own path. No one, like, like, like what he, what the Quran said in the beginning, right? A term appointed. Like, everything is the way it is. It's how he wants it. Disposer of the good, disposer of the bad, guides who he wants, how he wants, when he wants. So the chatter of the hyenas is not going to tell the lion went to hunt. That's how what I say, right? And they became divided only after knowledge reached them, through selfish envy as between themselves. Had it not been for a word that went forth before from thy Lord, tending to a term appointed, the matter would have been settled between them. But truly those who have inherited the book after them are in suspicious disquieting, doubt concerning it. Now then, for that reason, Call them to the faith, and stand steadfast as thou art commanded, nor follow thou their vain desires, but say, I believe in the book which Allah has sent down, and I am commanded to judge justly between you, nor follow their vain desires. Mm. Allah is our Lord and your Lord, for us is the responsibility for our deeds, and for you for your deeds. There is no contention between us and you. Allah will bring us together, and to him is our final goal.
But those who dispute concerning Allah after he has been accepted, futile is their dispute in the sight of their Lord. On them is wrath, and for them will be a penalty terrible. It is Allah who has sent down the book and truth, and the balance by which to weigh conduct. Ah! Oh, the balance by which to weigh conduct. And what will make thee realize that perhaps the hour is close at hand? Only those wish to hasten it who believe not in it, those who believe hold it in awe, and know that it is the truth. Behold, verily, those that dispute concerning the hour are far astray. Gracious is Allah to his servants. He gives sustenance to whom he pleases, and he has power and can carry out his will. To any that desire the tilleth, no, to any that desire the tilth of the hereafter, we give increase in his tilth. And to any that desires the tilth of this world, we grant somewhat thereof, but he has no share or lot in the hereafter. Whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute. So, if you want to hold off your blessings, suffer in this world, to then have it in the next world, in the hereafter, that will be an increased dispensation of your accounting right of what your reward and but they also are saying if you want some right now in this world you want the glitz and the glam in this world you might get it you may get a portion of it but it's also going to be like a test for you as well and then you might not have a certain percentage in the hereafter because you've got some of it already in the real world Oh, and that's why they act, like when you're gonna be asked what you'd like, and what you've earned, right? You're gonna it's gonna be accounted to see what you're gonna get in the hereafter based on what you got when you were on Earth. Nice. What have they partners in Godhead, who have established for them some religion without the permission of Allah? Damn, some religion. Had it not been for the decree of judgment the matter would have been decided between them at once. But verily the wrongdoers will have a grievous penalty. That will see the wrongdoers in fear on account of what they have earned. That will see. Fear, account. fear on the account. Like they're going to fear their own accounting. What you've earned. And the burden of that must necessarily fall on them. But those who believe and work righteous deeds will be in the luxuriant meads of the gardens that they shall have before their Lord, all that they wish for. That will indeed be the magnificent bounty of Allah. Wow. I like it. That's amazing. That all that they wish for. So it's almost like incentivizing you to do without, so that you can have more in the hereafter, because that's for a longer time. It's a hard thing, though, when you're constantly tested, right? They said that there's a lot of leading astray, right? By jinn kind and by shaitan, right? It's a hard thing to resist. But now that, you know, you're made, you're made aware that that's what it is, you can kind of weigh it yourself. You gotta practice your own accountability, too. Like, do I really want that now for a temporary pleasure? Or do I want to hold off? And hope for the best and hope that I've earned that and more later. Interesting. 